Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. Thanks for joining me for this video. Today I'm going to be flipping through my Hobonichi A6 daily journal. So if you'd like to see what I'm going to do, stick around. What's up Chappie fam? It's Jen with Chappie Plans. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am almost at two weeks post-op recovery, so slowly but surely getting there. I'm happy to be able to film this video today and feel well enough to do a bit of a talk-through um, slash walk-through. So I realized I haven't really shared my Hobonichi in a bit, so now's the time. I think the last time I shared this, it was mid-April. So now that we're almost to mid-May, I figured I would share all of my April dailies. So I'm going to April. So I have this little sticker in here from um, Coco Reno I got from Paper Treat Shop. Um, that's also what I use to mark the tabs on my Techo. And as you can see, I'm almost done with this book because it goes till June and I will be starting a new one for July. Um, so yeah, I just put this sticker on the cover and then for the month and then, um, there's lots of different things you could do. It's basically a blank page. I just like to have in here like main appointments and things so I can look at it at a glance if I need to just bring this with me for something. Um, and also to help me reference when I'm doing my journaling. If I don't journal that day, I can just kind of look back and refresh my memory. Uh, cause I'm a very visual person, obviously. So this was the very first day of our spring break. So we drove out to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My husband had a work trip and we tagged along. Um, and I actually, the first seven days I brought this little journal and then I packed this sticker book, this one and one more that I had recently picked up at Michael's. They were five bucks each, looked at the colors and picked Tombow colors that matched and a pen and just decided, oh, and I made a washi sample. I picked out a bunch of washi that I thought would coordinate. Um, and I brought it with me to the hotel and I was able to journal while we were at the hotel. So it was really convenient and really, really fun. Um, only working with a few supplies kept it very simple, um, and made it very easy for me to journal. So I just did a bit of color blocking here with different Tombos and, um, I wrote, we didn't leave until 10 because I had to wait for my meds to be ready at Rite Aid. I can't go on a week vacation without my meds. Um, I talked about how Nora listened to the Eras tour on repeat and I just played my little farm heroes game while Matt and I were jamming out to classic rock and how funny it was that it's called classic rock, but it's like alternative music from our, you know, teen years. So now we're like vintage, I guess. Um, talked about how we checked into the hotel and then walked around the waterfront, which is, which is like, um, this really cute area with shops and restaurants and things. And we grabbed dinner at Chipotle. Then... The next day, I took Nora to the Pittsburgh Children's Museum, dropped my husband off at work, which was an adventure in and of itself. Pittsburgh is, we've never been. It is the weirdest, like, I don't know, even know how to describe it, but it's like built into mountains and hills. So it's extremely up and down. One minute you're like in a neighborhood and the next minute you're on a highway. It's, it's just bananas to me. But um, it was a really lovely area. So we went there together after I dropped my husband off at work. I actually think I went back to the hotel, worked out, um, cause I just brought like my iPad and did my beach body program. And then we had lunch and went to the children's museum. Then we picked my husband up on the way home and we drove around for a while looking for gluten-free uh, soy sauce so that we could go to this sushi bar, which was amazing. Um, it was, they have them in Japan, um, probably other places, but it's like an automated sushi conveyor belt and the sushi goes around constantly and you just pick the, the sushi that you want to eat and then you take the plate when you finish the food and you put it in this little slot that's next to your table and that kind of like they'll know they'll say oh that plate is worth three dollars or whatever four dollars and after you fill up a certain number of plates you get a chance to win a little prize from like a little claw machine type thing um it's automated though and it just comes to your table it's really cool we had a robot bring us our drinks it was really neat so um it took us a while to find some gluten-free soy sauce driving around Pittsburgh. We got quite the view of downtown, but um, <laughs> uh, it was worth it. It was so worth it. The next day, my husband took the car um, and we just walked across the road to those waterfront shops that we had found and went shopping. So Nora and I went and did a whole bunch of shopping. There was a Dave & Buster's over there, a Starbucks. She got some new skincare products because that's what all the kids are into. Um, and here I'm just like recording my workouts 
Um, and then after my husband got home from work, we went to Urban Air and we got takeout from this restaurant called Burgatory that had delicious um, milkshakes. Uh, my favorite thing of the day was reading Cars and Trucks and Things That Go at Barnes & Noble while Nora searched for the little gold bug character, which is one of my favorite childhood memories I was able to basically recreate with her in the store. Um, and I've shared all of this on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I try to take you guys with me when I go places in my stories. Um, Thursday, my husband worked for a little bit in the morning um, before we even like woke up, he left and then came back and we packed up and we went, actually, no, we didn't, did we pack up? No, we went to the Carnegie Science Museum and that was super fun. So we did that as a family. And then after that, we went to the Duquesne Trolley Incline and it hailed, which was bananas. It was really cold. It was not great weather, but I think it snowed a lot here while we were gone. So we missed that, which was nice. Um, and then we went to dinner at this cantina place. It was super delicious. Everything was very homemade. It was outstanding, uh, very fresh. And then we got this gourmet ice cream, even though it was hail, hailing earlier, but it was really fun. So it was a very full day. And then the next day we did pack up. We stayed until like time, it was time to check out and drove to Pitts, uh, from Pittsburgh to Hershey, um, which was about like four hours. So I didn't work out that morning. I had a lot of packing to do. Um, and so I wrote, too tired to work out. So I ate an apple danish instead. <laughs> um, we checked into the hotel, went to the botanical gardens, and then we had we found this um, like certified gluten free Italian restaurant that made their own pasta and like everything fresh and it was the best meal we have ever had I think as a family trying to eat gluten free so um, super good it was called Piazza Sorrento if you're ever in the Harrisburg like Hershey area you have to go uh, so then the next day was Hershey Park that was Saturday. I listed all of the roller coasters that we did, how much fun we had. We were there all day. We walked over 16,000 steps that day. And then the next day, we left that hotel and started to come home. But on the way home, we stopped at the Pocono Outlets and we did a bunch of shopping. I got some new like slippers and some new leggings. Nora got her first pair of Lululemon leggings, um, which is crazy to me because she's eight, but she's so tall. Um, got some new sneakers. Uh, so... And then we got home late, late that night. Then the next day was the eclipse. So I drew a little like eclipse here. I used my Posca paint pen and um, had a lot of things I had to do. And then I just journaled about like how it was a total eclipse and where we live. Our state was in the path of totality. Um, we didn't really get to see the eclipse because it was too cloudy. So that was kind of a bummer. But uh, yeah, then um was back to school for Nora, back to work for my husband. And um, I had to like get back to adulting. I had a PTA meeting. So I had to do all of those things. I had my co first Coffee Monsters Co. order arrive while I was gone. So I was excited to put some of those emojis in my daily journal here. Um, and then it was so nice. It was 72 degrees. So we actually got ice cream after dinner. And um, after school, I let Nora play on the school playground for a little bit because it was just so nice out. And then it was like rain, 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 rain. Like it's been raining like like the whole month of April. I feel like it just rained. So here I'm just using my mild liners to letter, like a brush, my brush mild liners to letter. And then I just take my little gel pen and I outline around it. It's one of my favorite ways to just like add journaling or um, just a little bit of bullet notes to my, my um, daily journal. It was a very rough night. Um, and Nora had her first New York State ELA test. I had a migraine on and off and then day two it was really really bad and I still ended up subbing because I just where I sub I sub in special ed and nobody wants to sub in those classrooms and they're actually my favorite so if I can go in and help out I do even if I don't feel well if I'm not like throwing up or bleeding I'm probably going to say yes and and take the job so that um you know the teachers who are in there are not left on their own I did sub and then I, I had to drop off the new leggings I got to be hemmed because they're like too long. I got Nora some boba, um, fell asleep really early. Uh, then I subbed again the next day. I was feeling much better. I think I went to bed, yeah, I went to bed at seven the night before. Um, so I was feeling much better and Nora got to come in and be a mystery reader in the classroom that I was in, which was really cool. And after school, I took her to the library and she always gets boba on Fridays. So I got her boba. 
Um, and then the next day I started like doing some crazy spring cleaning around my house, reorganizing like all of our closets, decluttering, switching out our winter and summer clothes and all that kind of stuff. Sunday I did the same thing. I have this picture from my bathroom after I had organized it. We went to Target and I bought all these new clear bins and I like completely decluttered. I threw out expired medicine. Like I, yeah, it was a mess. I wiped everything down. I took everything out. It was quite an undertaking. It took all day, uh, but it was just raining like this whole time. It's raining, raining, raining. I was like over it. So it was a great, great weekend to stay in and just clean and declutter. And then finally we had sunshine. So um, it was tax day. Um, I said no to a substitute teaching job that day because I was so, so wiped from the weekend of cleaning. I needed a day to stay home and I had to like kind of reset um, my content and things like that. This was a tough, I think this was a really tough mental health day with Nora. Um, so I'm going to cover that up. <laughs> Moving on. Um, that was just tough. We had a really, really tough moment. And I, she said something that wasn't intentional to like hurt me because she's not that type of kid, but it really was rough. Um, so I had to like reflect on that. Um, the next day, Nora and I filmed the Grabby video together. If you missed that, check that out. Grabby sent me a really awesome art supply box that, um, is just so good. So we filmed that together. I took her to this girlhood event about like growing up and puberty and getting your period and all that stuff um and I took a really long shower and did my nails this day now we're back to rain <laughs> um so I subbed Thursday and Friday um again I'm in special ed um so after work I worked out and then I edited I got some happy mail from my sticker bestie for the month who was Angie Livesay so this I cut out a portion of the way she decorated the envelope she sent my stickers in and put that in here um which was so cute and then the next day I got surprise happy mail from Kim uh actually I should cover up her address um from Kim Tan so um the tangerine nursery uh and so I cut out her little like label and put it in there Friday um it was a really tough day I think I got I think he bit me one of the kids bit me yes um so instead of swearing, you know, like if you've ever seen Anchorman, he goes Knights of Columbus. So I cut out those um, things from a little magazine and I put it in there. And then Nora had a sleepover. Um, I then this weekend I tackled the kitchen. So I did the same thing that I did in the bathroom where I took everything out, everything out of all the cabinets, junk drawers, under the sink, all of it, cleaned it out put it back, organized it, decluttered, threw out expired foods, that kind of stuff. Sunday we had church and then I took um, Grace to brunch. Then we, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I just read a lot. I just read a lot because I was exhausted. Um, the next day, Nora, um, Nora's friend came over after school, like just we didn't, weren't expecting him and he just knocked on the door. I had a my pre-surgical medical clearance appointment, so I put this little picture from a magazine in here. I ended up subbing as well. My allergies were driving me nuts this day. Um, I have terrible spring allergies. Um, I had therapy, so I do EMDR sometimes. I was listening to my audiobook. Um, Nora had her physical, and I we had a situation called Flygate that I named it, where Nora like had an, a huge meltdown and refused to like get off the trampoline because she was afraid of a fly that was stuck to the netting, which it's completely irrational and illogical because she's not normally afraid of those things. I think she was extremely tired and it was just like her, it was like a power struggle type thing where she just wanted us to come and carry her into the house. And we, we were like, no, you need to just <laughs> get past it. So it became like this big, huge thing and snowballed very quickly into a huge meltdown that lasted for like an hour and a half. It was bananas. Um, then let's see. I had a lot of, I did a lot of editing. I was trying out this new brush pen that I have. It's really hard to write with. It's like by Zig and it's like a true brush pen. It's not like um, felt tip. It's like individual little strands. So it's more like a true paintbrush. Very difficult. So it looks a hot mess, but I was playing with it. Um, I did a little bit of shopping after school. And then I did a, I subbed the next day. 
Um, Nora and I make gluten-free meatballs. My husband went out with his friends. Um, let's see, Friday, obviously dealing with some PTA stuff. <laughs> this is the last year I'm going to be president for so many reasons. Um, so I was just experimenting with color, trying to match the washi that I chose, put in some alpha stickers, got Nora Boba. We, um, I bought myself some more leggings. I just was like, I deserve it. So that's what I did. Uh, then we had a really full day of shopping this day. Nora and I, um, that's us at dinner. We went out for the day and did a lot of shopping because she needed all new clothes, shoes, like bathing suits, the whole nine for um, the upcoming spring summer season because she just keeps growing. So we went to the outlets, we went to brunch, we went to dinner, and then we got dessert at our favorite um, ice cream place. So that's her there. Coming up to the end of the month, did some big stamping with my Ali Edwards stamps. Um, I use Suki Nako chalk ink. I'll show you what it looks like in case you don't know. There are these dewdrops by Versa Magic. Um, Suki Nako Company is the company who makes them. You can get them on Amazon. They're linked in my storefront. They don't bleed through the Tomoe River paper, so um, I like to use this ink in my Hobonichi. Um, so yeah, so I stamped church. This is the, these are the initials of our church. Um, Nora's best friend came over. Weed, I, I think I said this before. I think I did these in a process video. I meant that I was weeding the flower beds and my husband's like, it looks like you're putting that you just smoked weed this day. And I'm like, well, I don't smoke weed, but no, no shade to people who do. It's fine. Do you? But I, that's not what this was intended for. This was meant weed the flower beds. That's what I did. Um, cause I had my surgery in a couple days. So I had, this was my last like weekend to be able to do that outside, which of course, because my allergies are so bad, made me feel like I was getting like an instant sinus infection. Um, cause I'm very, very allergic to basically anything with chlorophyll in it. So I was like, I took a shower, but I was a mess. Like my, my sinuses were a mess after. Um, so I just put a quote here. Um, this was my mindset the day before my surgery. Sometimes the bravest and most important thing you can do is just show up. Brene Brown. So I put that quote again. Playing with this this pen. I used a bunch of other brush pens. Um, actually, I think these are the ones I did in the process video. And then I might have done these after the fact. I don't even remember. Um, and then the last one for the month before we get to May is this picture that my, my good friend took of Nora. Um, this was the day of my surgery. So she took Nora after school until the evening and um, they live by little falls area so she took a photo of Nora and then I put in the picture of me my view from pre-op um, I talked about checking in answering all the questions and how I felt after and I just wrote in big letters this was my hysterectomy surgery so I'm working on May I need to get a little bit caught up but I'm doing pretty good um, I love the size I love this journal but I have to tell you I did something <laughs> You guys are going to laugh at me. You're going to laugh. Do I need this? Absolutely not. Did I do it? I did. I bought myself the cousin. That's because I could not, I could no longer curb my curiosity. My husband gave me a gift card. Um, at part of my like hysterectomy recovery present, he gave me a gift card and I used it to get this. And I wanted to see the size comparison for journaling. I wanted to see how I felt about everything being together. I definitely, I back stickered in this just like quickly, 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 but I wanted to try it. Um, like I literally went back to January 1st and back stickered all the weeks because I just wanted to see how this would work as a personal planner. So I am thinking, I'll just show you how I use this, but I don't know that I don't know. I don't know if I'll do a plan with me in this. You guys have to let me know. These, This is just for me for fun to like get used to because next year I think I'm going to switch to using the cousin for my personal planner. Um, I just, I love the Tomoy River paper. I can't get over it. And I've loved my Techo. So this is a lot bigger, obviously. Like it could, it's like two of these basically. Um, but I find that I'm needing a little bit more room to write. The nice thing about the size of this is, you know, if you don't have a lot of time or you have really tiny handwriting, which I do not, um, or you, you know, I can write small, but it's hard for me. Um, you just don't have a lot to say or whatever. This is a great size. It's fantastic. And I got it because I, I wanted to try the Tomoe River paper. 
um, and I was kind of over my Archer and Olive Daily Journal setup, my like Bujo style setup. And I love this, but I wanted, I kind of wanted it all together. Like I, I kept seeing people plan in their weeklies and I was like, this looks so fun. I really need to try it. So I did. This is what I've been doing like from my couch, basically, <laughs> as I've been home for the last two weeks, like doing nothing housebound. Um, and I, I'm obsessed. So I'm thinking like, here's, I did not go back and do dailies. I don't know if I will, or if I'll use them just to practice lettering or something. I don't want to let those pages go to waste, but I just decided to start with May 1st and try it and see. There's definitely a lot more room to write and get decorative, which I like more room to keep ephemera, things like that. I don't feel as restricted. I'd rather have extra space to just doodle or throw stickers down for like no reason other than to use your stash than to run out of room, which is what I'm finding is happening in my um, A6. So this is an A5. So um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it. And so I think next year I'm going to use a cousin for my personal planner. So it would be like my, what I'm doing in my Laurel Denise planner. And I'll be using my Laurel Denise planner for content creation and uh, Patreon, which I still haven't set up and is coming. Don't worry. Um, but I, I figured I'll give it a shot. I'll see how it goes. And if it goes really well, then I will just keep doing more and more with Patreon. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. But I got to give it a shot, you know? Um, I just enjoy this way too much not to try to do a little bit more with what I love sharing with all of you. So that's the update from me. I know. I can't believe I did this. I don't know who I think I am. But <laughs> I was like, listen, I'm going to be, I have a four to six week recovery period. That's a long time. And I can only read so much and play so much Farm Hero Saga on my phone, you know, and there's only so much crap TV I can watch before I got to start, you know, creating or doing something. So I love this. Um, I love this too. It's just a little bit tiny, but I'm still going to use it. I'm going to use the other one for the rest of the year. Um, and let me know what you think about this. I can just show flip throughs every now and then. Um, if you want to see a plan with me in this, I could do that too. I just need to know what you guys want to see. But let me know if you have any questions about like stickers that you saw or pens I use or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I did do like separate swatch videos of all of my brush markers and all of my pens um, in my media journal. So those videos would be under my media journal playlist. Uh, there's also a Hobonichi playlist and there's a Laurel Denise playlist so that everything is organized. You guys can, you know, check out that content if you feel like it. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. Uh, if you're already subscribed, be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss content that comes out. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends, and remember that you are enough. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.